Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today that will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a vehicle, having a car that's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive modern vehicle, anything made practically year past year 2000. And if you guys feel vibrations when you're accelerating, if you're driving it nice, it's smooth, it's good, but you're accelerating hard, you're going fast and you feel vibrations kind of like under the seat and the whole body is shaking a little bit. You may even hear a noise. Stay with us, we'll explain the top three things that we see here at the shop based on our experience. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools to, and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. Uh, now, this is guys, okay, half of the rear drive shaft. Okay, this is one half. The other half is still under the car. Let me show you now how come from this angle. Uh, but we removed half to replace some parts. And if you see uh, the other half of the drive shaft, okay, is uh, actually right there behind the exhaust okay so let me see if I can come in an angle okay you can see where it's hanging down and it comes up to here where the support bearing is okay that's the support bearing right there so what can go bad now guys number one thing rear wheel drive vehicles guys they will have that thing known as a flex joint flex joint also known on in BMW world as guibo G-U-I-B-O guys, Guibo. So, that thing connects the drive shaft to the transmission, okay, or a transfer case on an all-wheel drive car. And that transfers practically all the power to the rear differential, okay, to the drive shaft. And if you look at that thing, guys, okay, it may look fine, but when we spread it, check out the structural cracks right here, okay, that are terrible. That will make it uh, not holding so good. It will cause more flex. That will cause vibrations, okay. Here on this side, you can see the bushing started separating. And if we go in the uh, uh, shoulder side, definitely guys, structural damage there. So, Guibo guys, flex joint will be one of the most common problems. Number two, will be a bad drive shaft support bearing. I showed you the bearing still on our drive shaft. That's the bearing. Uh, the drive shaft goes in it and practically it holds the drive shaft bolted to the body of the vehicle. Two components can fail here. Let's, uh, let, let us show you. One is the rubber bushing that holds the bearing. Okay, and if you go in an angle, okay, if you go in an angle, check it out now, okay, the little cracks here, guys, those little cracks will actually uh, cause vibrations as well. We've seen it on some vehicle where it's completely cracked and practically uh, you can put your finger to it. Another thing that can go bad, the bearing itself. That's what happened with ours. It developed a play in the bearing and you will hear those vibrations in the in the vehicle as well. And number three will be bad drive shaft bearings. Okay, bad drive shaft practically. So you need to install new drive shaft or have the drive shaft rebuilt. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.